Happy Saturday, everybody. I'm so upset, I can't stand it. In front of you here, we have one of the most awesome models in the GW range for orcs. And that is the Orc Wartrike. And the reason I'm upset is because this thing sucks. Now, for those that say, oh, no, no, it's good, it's good, it doesn't suck, you know, it's it's good, you know, I'm, hey, I'm sorry, I disagree. It's fun, yes, but is it is it quote, unquote, competitive? And I say, no, it sucks. For one, it's a vehicle, it is not a bike, so right out of the gate, it gives up one additional point for bring it down if you decide to take this. They should have made this thing a bike. It's just a trike. It's a three-wheeled bike. They just should have called it a bike. That way it wasn't wouldn't have the vehicle. Uh, keyword, it has no invulnerable save. It just runs around protected by its toughness, and it does not have enough wounds to not die from a last cannon shot, a multi-melted shot, some dude running around with a plasma pistol. I, I don't know. I just don't like it. It just, to me, and, and another thing, if it was competitive, you would see these in every single competitive tournament list and everybody would be taking three of them. So the way you know that this thing is not competitive is I, I haven't seen a list with one guy running one of these ever. So anyway, enough with the ranting. So we're going to get into a showcase. So I painted this model. It's one of my best painted models. It's got the excellent uh, basing. Basing is complete. Uh, that base, once I show it to you, just so you understand, that base is 100% hand painted. So I didn't use any of that, uh, what do you call it, crackle medium or any of that, yeah, I guess it's called crackle medium or the stuff that kind of makes the paint do some funky stuff. So I'm going to put this on the turntable uh, after I get done showing you some of this stuff and explaining. But first, I just want to show you what we did. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it up and I'm going to kind of turn it around, spin it, show you some of the high points of the model and how I painted it. So first off, let's take this guy off. For, so for transporting, you guys know I love to pin. So if you can see right here, underneath that foot, I put a little plastic tube and a pin. Well, he pins right there, that little hole right there. So for transportation, I can put this in a box and it's much more low profile. I don't have that dude sticking up here, which means I got to find it for transportation, you know, twice the square foot or twice the square inch area. You know, the box has to be bigger. So he fits like this. I put this guy uh, in a little sock or a little protective thing and I just lay it on top, close the lid. So let's stick him back in here. Give it a little push. There, he's in. Another thing I want to show you is you can see here that the orc driver is green. And I don't know if I've explained this to you guys before. I think I have. But the thing I do with my bosses and my warlords and my knobs is that they get kind of a greenish white to greenish blue color. So my painting technique, when you see my orcs 100% on the battlefield, you know, when I'm running a 2,000 point list, any orc that has been battle hardened or is old and has made it through basically the trial by fire phase of a young orc, so basically a big, big knob or a war boss, I have chosen to go with a gray color. So it's very unique on the table when you see bright green boys but yet the knob is standing in that unit next to him with a kind of grayish green kind of tint to him, almost, almost leaning towards white. So again, so let's take a look. There's the base. So I have like a little stream or a little creek that he's in the desert that he's running over. Check out the other side of the base. 
So as he's going over that creek, right, that dry creek bed, got one wheel on one side, both wheels on the other side, crossing. So let's bring it in close. So as you can see, I got the rust on the chain. I got the scratches or the weathering on the tubes, bringing his claw, got the weathering, got the rust. High detail, high detail. Let's bring in the fenders, see the scratches, the weathering. Spin it around, look at this fender. So you can see that fender there, got the dirt on the wheels. Got the rust in the in the wheel portion. Got the dirt on the rubber. I got the grot. Let's bring him in. I got him pouring the gas, and I colored it blue. He's using aviation fuel, so aviation fuel does have colors. But then he's spilling it. So if we bring it to the top, so as this guy's driving and this guy's trying to fill it, you got the blue where it's been spilling, running down the edge, running down the side. Again, just showing you a little bit of detail here and there. Got the scratches, got the weathering going. Let's bring in the knob, got the beady little red eyes. He's got the little pink. Let's see if I can get this to zoom in. So he's got the little pink on his lips, you know, the different coloration, kind of brown on his chin. Got the headlights going. Anyway, so here, so we're going to put it back. I'm going to go ahead, shut this off. So you go in ahead and see the detail. I'm going to put this on the turntable, crank up the music, let it spin for a minute or two. And then we're going to close this showcase out. Yeah, on this one, I had to throw in a, a little dubstep, little little bass mix there. That's kind of more orky. That Usually, I use that kind of soft, kind of put you to sleep music. But yeah, I had for this guy, I had to crank it up a notch. So uh, we have playlists now where I'm going to do five-minute little spots and uh, show you guys how to do different techniques, different painting techniques. Uh, make you know you guys so you can make your war tracks look like these. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button so you know the next time I post. Share this out with all your friends. Hit that like button. Smash that like button. Like I keep saying, this is the only way I get out there. I don't have time to do any kind of marketing. This ain't my full-time job. This is just something I'm doing on the side uh, just to kind of, you know, help you guys out. Like I said at the very beginning, this is just every man's stuff. I'm just like you guys, just trying to play 40K and put some models together and have some fun. So we're going to wrap this one up. So I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking this out. Like we always say on the channel, may all your dice rolls come up sixes unless you're looking for a one. Peace out.